Hello everyone, my name is Alexa Chow and today I would like to share some of my tips on how to study Sajara for STPM and SPM. So basically, I'm not that type who really good in studies and I also not that type who really good in Sajara but I have some tips that I use for myself to study and hopefully it can help you guys in study Sajara for SDPM and also SPM. So let's get started. So here I got my Form 4 textbook. I don't have Form 5 textbook but I just show this as a example. So first of all, I'm using only textbook to study. I never buy any reference book to study for STPM, I mean SPM Sajara. So basically what I did is I will do all these sticky notes. I will like just put all these sticky notes like for example um this one here TR is for uh Tamadun White, all this thing and where where is this come from all so I make this important one uh here the important chapter that I feel that I need to study more I will put it at here as a note and of course I also will put the chapter so wait so here I put all the chapter from chapter 1 to chapter 10 so it's easier for me to just flip through which chapter that I would like to read okay so next I will do this one here on the sticky note and I will stick it on my textbook this textbook is I bought from the bookstore i didn't actually use the school textbook so i'll be able to write everything inside this textbook so what i did is i will write all the tips given from teachers friends and from other sources i will actually study based on this tips here but of course we cannot only we cannot only depends on the tips given we also need to actually read through all the chapters inside the textbook to make sure that we master at least most of them. Alright, next. Since I'm quite lazy person, so I don't really like to do notes. So basically what I did is, I will study just using my textbook and I will highlight every single important note from the textbook. So you guys, what I recommend is, I always do like a lot of colors, like got pink, got red color, got orange color, uh, yellow color here. I will just like buy a bunch of highlighters here just to use it for highlighting all the important notes inside the textbook because actually this thing helps me a lot to remember better and of course I also, I also use color pen to write all the important notes like this one here and like here I write all the important notes here and of course i also use sticky notes and then i will write here also i will keep on like you know um do some notes inside my textbook basically i love to write something inside my textbook so i will remember better then that's how i study most of the time and yeah let me show you some of other example as well like this one, I use sticky notes and then I highlight all this. Basically, don't highlight everything with same color because it will make me, make you more confused. So what I did is I will use a few colors, but it depends on you, you all, like how you feel comfortable and how you feel to remember better. But for me, this type of uh, notes will make me remember better. So you guys can try it out and see if this thing helps you or not but of course doing only notes inside a textbook is not enough you have to do extra notes on the papers so this is how I did um, last year so I will do on a piece of A4 paper and I will cut it into four section and I will write all the important notes this is very simple and very short notes and then I will bring this everywhere to read all the notes. Then of course, this one is much more detailed. I will um, do two sections. This one is for the infos and 
Yeah, I will do all the notes here. And of course, you can use this one here. Keywords. Keywords is very important. Like for example, SPR is Surhan Jaya Pilihan Raya. So it will make you remember better. Instead of, you know, writing all the full name of this, you just write SPR and that's enough. And you will remember better. And you, it actually like um, shorten your time to write notes. So I re really recommend this a lot. Okay, next is, of course, you are not only going to read all the notes, writing all the notes, but you also have to do a lot of practices. For example, an objective question, you have to do a lot and a lot here. That's why I always like spend my time, most of like around 30 minutes or one hour every day just to do all these questions. And it's actually, it actually helps me a lot um, by doing all these questions here. So, for paper 2, it's basically you have to read a lot because it's a subjective question. I can't really help you a lot. For paper 3, what I did last year is I will collect all the information when after I got a team. Then I will start to do a lot of research on which one uh, is important and might be asked in the exam. So, that is what I basically what I did. Okay, so that's all about for SPM Sejara and now I'm going to talk about STPM Sejara and what I did for STPM Sejara Sam 1 is almost just the same like how I did for SPM but it's just slightly different which is I'm using this one here. This one is not a sticky note, it's basically just a piece of smaller paper, color paper and I will write all the important point like the main point and it actually helps me to remember about what should I write inside my essay so that's basically what I do and it's just the same I will highlight and then I will write down all this and I'm still using the sticky notes here for example I'm still using this to write everything that is important and then highlight yeah, it's just basically the same like how I study. But the different thing about when I study for SEM 1 is this one here. So basically what I do is I will analyze every single question that came out in the past few years and make an analysis. So I will do from first theme to the fourth theme. And every chapter until chapter 20. So what I do is, for example, like Perang Dunia Pertama, Fator and Kesan came out already. So I won't actually focus more on that particular chapter. Instead, I will read another chapter. So that's what I do. And for this one that I put cross here, basically it haven't came out and I need to focus more on this chapter. So, of course, my teacher also gave me some tips, but I don't usually follow the tips given because I feel like if I keep on follow the tips, it doesn't really help. So, what I do is just read a lot and do a lot of practice. I will do a lot of essays. And, of course, like I did just now, analyzing and do some research for which, which topic will come out. So, basically... After I did the research, it does come out those uh, questions that I spot, but not 100%. Maybe around 40 to 50% came out for um, the real exam, and it's something really good for me, of course. Okay, the next one here, what I'm going to do is I will practice a lot on essays because. STPM came out all is just essay. There's no objective or subjective question. So I will write one question here and I will practice on the question. So basically I will write down all and then I will highlight the most important point. For example, like Bidang Politik and so on. So next time when I do revision, I just have to focus on the points that I highlighted. And of course, I read through again. Just just um scan through once again the note. Um, that's basically what I do for Sejarah STPM Sem One. 
and another thing of course i also i also still doing notes basically what i do is just the same like how i did last year i don't really like doing mind mapping but i just do the normal how we usually do notes and this time i'm using binder because my teacher asked us to use binder to make notes so i'm using this binding system to make all the notes here nothing really different it's just the same basically so that's it about what i do for um stpm someone so yeah Okay, so that's basically all the tips given from me to study STPM and also SPM Sejara. I hope it does help you guys and you can use the tips given to improve yourself in Sejara. I, to be honest, I really love to study Sejara because it's really fun. Even though it's, sometimes it can be boring, but when there's a lot of information, new uh, information I really like to learn about it and of course I just feel like it's something that uh, really interesting so before I end my video I would like to apologize if um, the way I talk is kind of like <laughs> how to say it? Um, I'm having hard time talking because I have braces and it's really hard to pronounce some of the words so I really uh, apologize for that and that's all from me if you guys like this video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share this video to your friends and that's all from me bye guys